Hey everybody, hope you guys are doing well. Um, hope you had a great week. I'm excited today. And um, you know, this is a special, special episode. You know, today I always say that, but this one has really, really great meaning. And you know, we're gonna hop right into it in a second, but thank you for tuning in. Thank you for all the new viewers. I see we're gaining uh, new viewers each week. I see we're gaining, you know, new likes, new followers. Appreciate that. Um, again, this is for you. You know, we're providing, you know, my goal is to provide content, you know, provide people who can share their life and give them opportunity to have a platform, you know, to voice, you know, some of their successes, also some of their failures, with the hope that it can help, you know, other people, and which meaning you, all right? So, we're gonna hop right into it today. today I have a special guest with me, and his name is Brady Weaver. All right, let me tell you about this young man here. This young man right here, I met back in the summer, and you know, I didn't know him. Well, actually, I knew knew him from since you were a kid. Yeah. Uh, but we reconnected over the summer, and I'll let him share a little bit more. But this guy right here is is the reason why is is the main reason why. I'm able to do what I do, all right, with these podcasts, with these videos, with the documentary, okay? This is the man with the plan behind <laughs> the scenes that makes it all happen. So I said to him, you know, I wanted to have him on, you know, so the people can can see, put a face to a, not a name, because you really didn't know him, but put a face to to what's happening, you know, behind the scenes, because, you know, I'm, I'm front and center, but without him, you know, I won't be able to do what I do. So. Um, Brady Weaver, you guys, Brady, you want to greet the people real quick? I appreciate it, Gerald, yeah. Hi, I'm Brady, everybody. Um, I'm currently a student at Kutztown University, uh, a senior this year, um, studying cinema, television, and media productions. So, hence the reason why, you know, I've been doing all this camera stuff. Um, so, ever since I met Gerald, well, reintroduced to Gerald um, in the summertime, I was currently, at the time, looking for, you know, an opportunity to work with my camera and um, editing skills. And luckily, sooner than later, uh, we got it reintroduced together and um, started working together at the end of May, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he came up to me and had this huge idea about doing this podcast. Um, and, you know, I was just so eager to start working with my camera. And I've always had an idea of starting a podcast, but I, you know, was not the one to, you know, be prepared every week to, you know, sit in front of the camera and just talk to the camera the whole time. So when I was reintroduced to him, I was so thankful to have him in my life so I could start working with my camera, doing the editing, producing, all that stuff. And three months later, three or four months later, here we are. So yeah, yeah. 20 some podcasts down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been a ride, man. It it's has been, been. It's been a journey. It's been a ride. It's been great, you know, uh, but you know, we've evolved with our, in our podcast and mm -hmm. we, we've gone from here to here just in you know just the, the creativity behind it you know certain things with the two camera angles and different things and I've had several of you comment on um, our you know the episodes and saying how professional it is and I always tell them it's all it has a lot to do with <laughs> this man right here this young man so you know shout out to your your parents you yes know. of course um, shout out to them and, and your dad Jim who um, reconnected us over the summer, exactly. And because uh, I was in need of of someone to um, to work with, you mm -hmm. know. And I just want to speak on that real quick. The working relationship you know, that we have, because I'm sure a lot of you um, have desires and things to to accomplish things in life, um, to pursue certain goals, you know, to you know just experience certain things, you know. And I want to say that. Um, relationships are very important in terms of you actually reaching your potential. A lot of times we don't think about it that way. You know, we just think, you know, um, that we can just do it on our own or, you know, we can get there, you know, like the Lone Ranger, you know. The Lone Ranger approach, um, I think it's played out. <laughs> I think the Lone Ranger approach is played out, it's played out, you know. Trying to do it by yourself. Actually, the Long Ranger had Tonto, so he wasn't by himself. <laughs> um, so, but the relationship, 
And the key to success, the key to your success is um, relationships. You know, relationships are so important. A lot of times, um, because we don't value relationships and value people, mm -hmm. then we can stay in a place where, where our growth is being hindered. Like there, there's so much that Brady has kind of assisted me a lot and, and his expertise with the camera, different things, editing, uh, professionalism, lighting, all of those things which you guys don't know about, but all those things that we talk about behind the scenes, I've learned a lot, but I've also given Brady room to evolve and grow and, and apply himself. You know, so that's important when you when you have your own business, you're an entrepreneur doing certain things. Make sure um, that you allow. Now, it has to be the right people. Okay, let me say that. You know, I've learned. Sometimes you learn through trial and error. You know, you learn the right people and the wrong people. So it has to be the right people you have on board in your, in your ship to make sure they're going the right direction, the same direction as you. So, Brady, what do you want to say to that? You know, I just said a mouthful. Yeah. Um, but I have you on today. I want you to kind of share some light on that too. Of course. Yeah. So um, when discussing about, you know, doing something that you love, like Jared was telling me, he was like, I just want to start a podcast because, you know, he's an inspirational speaker. Um, he's been doing it for his whole life and he just doesn't have the opportunity to share it with the whole world, putting it online and on social media so people can see it. And the one thing I have to say about that is, you know, Especially when I was starting to work with the camera and all that stuff, people asked me, like, how do you get better at what you do? And the only response I can say to that is doing it. You can't improve something that you want to do unless you start doing it. Because people that always come up to you and ask you about it, they don't do it. They, they just want to get better over you know, the short term. And Sadly, that's not possible. <laughs> Unless you're some kind of magician that can automatically do things great, like in one second. It's not possible. It takes time, it takes process. And if you guys have been watching over you know, the past 20 some episodes of this podcast, you can see there's been a little bit of improvement you know, mm -hmm. from the first to this podcast. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm just thankful, like I said, I'm thankful for the opportunity to work with you, Gerald. And you know, I'm excited to see what happens in the future. Yeah, 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 definitely, man. Um, like I said, I really appreciate you and everything you've done. Um, you know, and I just believe that. You know, I don't think we've seen anything yet. You know, mm -hmm. I think, you know, because, you know, you you have a goal that you want to achieve in life, but you're always looking to climb. You know, you're always looking to get better. You're always looking to, to reshape, or evolve, or to make better, you know, and, and I'm always, you know me, I'm, I'm driven that way. Exactly. You know, I always want to, you know, um, present the best. I wanted to be presentable. I wanted to be professional mm -hmm. in everything I do. And I've had comments from different people talking about the level of professionalism that we have with our podcasts and mm -hmm. so forth. Um, so I, I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this, Brady. What What are some of your, because um, you were a senior this year I am. at Custown University. Yes. So. What are some of your goals um, as far as your dreams and so forth? And what, what are your thoughts on that? So currently, since I'm a first semester uh, senior, my last semester of my college career, I'm supposed to do uh, a senior internship for the whole semester. Um, so I'm currently in the process of looking for one. Um, what I want to do is to go into sports production. That's my hopeful dream to do. Uh, on top of that, trying to work for a major league team. Um, I know it's a grind, I know it's a process, but you know, I'm still hopeful and you know, there's no better time to do it than now. So uh, it's, right now it's a process, yeah, but you yeah. know, I'm still hopeful for the future and see what happens coming the spring. Good, good, yeah. yes. So yeah, because I know you're, you're very dedicated. I know you're dedicated, you're focused, mm -hmm. you know, um, you know what you want. You know, and I think that's, I really think that's maybe half the battle or maybe even more is the fact that many times we really, we haven't crystallized what we really want. Yeah. You know, sometimes I, I talk to people and I counsel different people and um, they're kind of they're, they're like over here, but then they're over here, but then here, you know, over the course of time. And it just seems like they, they have never narrowed 
it down to this is it, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I can tell with you, you know that this is it. <laughs> oh, ever since high school, I was in the video production class. I always knew going into college, I wanted to do some type of video production. But ever since I started working with the Harrisburg Senators for their video production crew, mm -hmm. I said, man, this is the job for me. And like, I want to do this for the rest of my life. Because only like, one, you get to work with something that you love. Mm -hmm. And two, my favorite bar uh, part about the job is entertaining people and making people happy. Mm -hmm. Putting like when I'm running out there on the field, um, out to the fans and stuff, having them put on camera for the big screen and seeing their face light up in joy mm -hmm. makes my day and makes makes my job a hundred times easier and a hundred times funner that yeah. I want to do for the rest of my life. So yeah. that's what I enjoy. And, and as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, you see the passion behind what he's talking about. He's yeah. not just he's not flaky. He's not unsure, you know, there's a passion behind it. And, mm -hmm. and, and that's the other thing too. Once you identify um, what you want to do, once you narrow it down, once you um, crystallize it, because sometimes it's not really clear what you're trying to do. And I know sometimes people may ask you questions, what do you want to do, what you want to accomplish? And you may not have crystallized it yet, you know? So I want to just say, you know, if you haven't crystallized what you want to do, take some time to do that. You know, I know we have, we know we have a lot of challenges in society today, things we're dealing with, but it doesn't mean that you can't dream. It doesn't mean that you can't put hands and feet to your vision. You know, it's one thing to have a vision. It's another thing to put. We put hands and feet to my vision back in May. Mm -hmm. You know, we started with this. What we're doing today started with just a phone conversation. Exactly. Well, it started with your dad. We connected us and we came home. Mm -hmm. But I share with, with Brady, but I had to have a vision first, okay? I had to have, I had to see it myself before I could share it with him. You know, so sometimes, sometimes we may we may have an idea what we want, but we don't know how to articulate it. Okay. So I articulated it to Brady so he could capture it. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's important when you're sharing, when you're working with people, when you want to connect. You got to make sure you know what you want, but then you got to be able to crystallize it and articulate it for the next person. Okay. So because of that, Brady was able to take what I shared and run with it. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. You know, um, so I just want to share that with you. You know, don't discount relationships, but make sure you take inventory for yourself and crystallize what you want to do and what you want to become. Okay. And then, you gotta be passionate about it, okay? You gotta be passionate about it. You gotta, people should be able to see your passion. And you can see your passion with them, you can see it with me. Whatever I do, whatever I do, I'm very passionate about it. When I played basketball, I was passionate. You know, um, you didn't have to tell me to go practice. You didn't have to tell me to work on my game, okay? Because it's, it's something that I want. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. um, so Brady, anything else you wanna, Anything else you want to share with the people today? Any other thoughts? You know, I don't know if you do or not, but anything you want to say? Yeah, I th just thank you so much for everything, and um, yeah, I, I just it's been it's been a blast. It's been a blast working on these projects and stuff. Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah. So again, man, I definitely appreciate you. I wanted to have just wanted to have take a pause, take a moment in the midst of all the podcasts we're doing. We're up, we're up close to thirty now. I think. Yep. Yep. So consistency, we've been consistent. Someone else called me one day and they said, man, I'm really impressed what you're doing. They said, but you've been consistent. Mm -hmm. And I told Brady, <laughs> I told Brady, what did I tell you before we started? Yep. Brady? Consistency is the number one priority to, you know, driving it up. Yeah. I've, I've been, I've been thankful for that for yeah. sure. Yeah. So we've been consistent and, uh, so we're close to 30 now and I'm excited again, you know, I think the ceiling is higher as far as what we're going to see and do. So thank you again for tuning in. Um, you know, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like our page, follow it, share with others. Give us some comments. Let us know what you, you know, what you think about what we're doing. And uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good day. See ya. Perfect.